Hey, I'm John. I'm Jeff. Les. Brady. Brian. I'm Randy. We're the Randy Rogers Band, and this is the Texas music scene with my little buddy, Ray Benson. Born Charles Harden Holly in Lubbock, Texas in 1936, Buddy Holly is known by the music world as one of the innovators of early rock and roll. He was a gifted singer, songwriter, producer, and performer that in just 18 short months of national success left behind a legacy that lives on today. A Texas legend, the great Buddy Holly. All of my love, all of my kissing, you don't know what you've been missing, oh boy. Oh boy, when you're with me, oh boy. Buddy Holly, I think, is the rock and roll Hank Williams. And just the way that he, the songs, you know, that, that I don't think anybody had the courage to, they, they don't seem at this point, you know, like, you know, Love is Love is not, not Fade Away, Not Fade Away, and like all these, these really crazy titles that sound because you've listened to him for so many years, but at that point, that, that was, he was writing some crazy stuff, you know, and putting these amazing melodies behind it. It was really, really simple, yet it was really complex. For me, as a young kid, uh, the first time I ever heard Buddy Holly's music, uh, it was funny because that movie, The Buddy Holly Story, had just come out, and uh, I guess a friend of my parents had left this, these horn rim glasses at our house. So I would put them on, and then I'd set up the, <laughs> the vacuum cleaner like it was a microphone, and, and then I'd play the the uh, shovel to the <laughs> the chimney and just sing to It's So Easy to Fall in Love. It was probably a ridiculously embarrassing moment for me, but uh, that was uh, music that really just, uh, the first time, my memory, of, my first memory of music really just cutting through, and here's a guy that made music, and he was from Texas, and, and uh, he looked like anybody else. Maybe, baby, I'll have you. Maybe, baby, you'll be true. I fell in love with Buddy Holly when I was like 10 or 11. I found the Beatles and then I, and the Beach Boys, and then I found Buddy Holly. I think it was right around when the Buddy Holly story came out. That probably had a lot to do with it, but I was the first Texas artist that I remember just falling in love with. Oh, well, Buddy Holly, to me, is the coolest guy because he's like this little nerdy guy, right? You know, he just stood there. But, I mean, his stuff was so cool, you know? It was so cool. And it just, you know, it kind of speaks to you, you know, and his, wor and his words were, uh, were a little bit more mature than, you know, the 50, the more of the 50s kind of stuff that was going on. This guy's great, and here's why. He was one of the first guys in rock and roll to produce his own records. He wrote his own records. And, uh, and then watching that movie, The Buddy Holly Story, kind of opened your eyes to that, that he was in there making these records, and, and they still stand the test of time. They're still so good. And it, even, when he was, even when he passed away, he was so young, and doing such revolutionary things, bringing strings into rock music, and uh, just the songs are so good. They're just so good. And to me, and I think most people uh, who would write a country song probably know the value of of just the, the power of his lyrics and the melody and everything like that, it's hard to beat. Stay with us, folks. Alejandro Escovedo rocks out on the Texas music scene soundstage right after this. I'm in love with love. I'm in love with love. 